So we want to solve this problem. Square root of 3 minus root 8. But 8 is the same as 4 times 2. So we have square root of 3 minus root 4 times 2. So this is equal to root 3 minus root 4 times root 2. So we have root 3 minus 2 root 2. This will now give us we we'll factor out 1 from here. We have 1 times 3 minus 2 root 2. So from here, we can replace this 1 to be equal to 2 over 2, which is the same thing as 1. So we we'll have 2 over 2 times 3 minus 2 root 2. From here, we have 2 times 3 minus 2 root 2 all over 2. So these two opening this bracket, we have 2 times 3 minus 2 times 2 root 2 all over 2. So this will give us 2 times 3 is 6 minus 2 times 2 root 2 all over so, but this is can be written as 4 plus 2 minus 2 times 2 root 2 all over 2. So 4, we can rewrite it as 2 to the power of 2 plus 2 minus 2 times 2 root 2 all over 2 but let's remember that a minus b all squared is equal to a to the power of 2 plus b to the power of 2 minus 2ab so when we apply this over here we'll be having 2 minus root 2 all squared all over root 2 all squared. So we have 2 minus root 2 all squared all over root 2 all squared. But recall that when we have a to the power of x, all over b to the power of x. This is the same as a over b, all raised to the power of x. So this becomes 2 minus root 2, all over root 2, all raised to the power of 2. This will cancel this. So we are left with 2 minus root 2 all over root 2. So we'll be rationalizing this. 2 minus root 2 over root 2 times root 2 over root 2. So we have 2 minus root 2 times root 2 all over root 4. Opening this bracket, we have 2 root 2 minus root 2 times 2 all over 2. So we have 2 root 2 minus 2 all over 2. From the numerator, we can factor 2 out to be left with 2 times 
root 2 minus 1 all over 2. So this cancels this. So we have root 2 minus 1.